In the previous video, we have seen about the mass fed construction and steady state characteristics. So in this video, we will see about the mass fed switching characteristics, safe operating area and we will compare mass fed characteristics with BJT. And the link for previous video is given in the description. We will see what we have seen in the previous video. So a MOSFET is a unipolar device. It is a voltage control device and it is suitable for high frequency application but it can be used only for low power application. It has high input impedance so a simple drive circuit is sufficient and it has a positive temperature coefficient so no secondary breakdown problem. So secondary breakdown problem will be available in BJT whereas in MOSFET there is no secondary breakdown problem and conduction losses are more because on state resistance of MOSFET is high as the voltage increases. So MOSFET has uh, three terminals drain, source and gate. The gate will be isolated from the rest of the body and normally a body diode will be represented across drain and source terminals. So this MOSFET is able to carry bidirectional current. So MOSFET operates uh, either in uh, cutoff mode or in ohmic mode when it is operated as a switch. So being a majority carrier device, the time required to eliminate the carriers during switch off is uh, reduced thereby switching time is uh, faster in case of a MOSFET. But MOSFET has a parasitic capacitance inside its structure. So this will affect the MOSFET switching behavior because this capacitance needs to be charged and discharged. So this affects the switching time of a MOSFET. So what is this parasitic capacitance? So between the, uh, if you see the MOSFET structure, you have uh, capacitance in between the gate source, between gate and drain and between drain and source terminal. So these things um, will affect this switching behavior of the MOSFET. Uh, if you see this gate source um, capacitance, it has the largest value because gate will be insulated from the uh, source by a uh, insulator. So you have a large capacitance here. However, this value will be independent of uh, voltage applied, drain source voltage applied. And this uh, gate drain uh, source capacitance is a function of drain source voltage. And this is a small value and which is often neglected. But uh, the input impedance of, because uh, we will apply the gate signal here and the input impedance for the MOSFET is uh, these two capacitance. So input impedance is the sum of these two capacitance. So, when we uh, apply gate, it needs time to charge these capacitor so as to turn the MOSFET on. So let us see the switching characteristics. This is turn on characteristics. So uh, for any switching characteristics, we need three waveform. First is the gate voltage which we apply and this is the gate source voltage which is the voltage across the gate source terminal and the other one is the output current drain current. So if you see the gate source voltage once gate voltage is applied you can see some curved type structure here. What is this? This is due to the presence of capacitance. The capacitance is getting charged so you are getting this type of waveform here. Similarly while turning off capacitance has to discharge so this type of discharge curve is here. So now the turn on characteristics has two time intervals delay time and rise time. So what is delay time? So it is the time required to increase the gate source voltage from 0 to threshold voltage. So what is the threshold voltage? It is the voltage at which 
that end channel will be created in the MOSFET structure. So if you want to know about how end channel is created, see the previous video. Link is given in the description. So once it reaches the threshold voltage, drain current will start to flow. So the rise time, uh, drain current increases from 0 to steady state value. And this T on can be reduced by changing the input impedance of the gate circuit. So MOSFET characteristics um, during turn off process. So you can see here as the gate voltage is removed, the gate source voltage has to reduce this capacitor discharges. So as the capacitor charges discharges, drain current start to decrease and it becomes zero when gate um, threshold voltage is reached. So this is the turn off characteristics. Next is the safe operating area of the MOSFET. So what is safe operating area? It is the limit specified by the uh, output current and output voltage for uh, safe operation of MOSFET. If you exceed these limits, MOSFET will break down. So the, uh, MOSFET has high on state resistance. To reduce this on state resistance, it is always advised to operate at, at maximum gate source voltage, but you cannot exceed this maximum voltage. So if you exceed this maximum voltage, dielectric breakdown will occur. And uh, if you want to operate at um, uh, till uh, this current and voltage, it is fine. But if you want to operate at a higher voltage, you have to reduce the current. Otherwise, power dissipation will be high and device may break down. So normally you have 1, 2 and 3 limits in MOSFET. So this is the maximum voltage you can apply. So these things are for pulsed waveform. So instead of uh, continuous gate signal, if you give a pulsed gate or a pulse with modulated signal as gate signal for a MOSFET, in that case, safe operating area increases. And forward biased and reverse biased safe operating are uh, same in case of a MOSFET. Let us see the difference between MOSFET and BJT. So MOSFET is a voltage control device. BJT is a current control device. It is a unipolar device whereas BJT is a bipolar device. And MOSFET has positive temperature coefficient of resistance. And BJT has negative temperature coefficient of resistance. MOSFET has no secondary breakdown problem. Whereas uh, BJT suffers from secondary breakdown problem. Here paralleling is easy in MOSFET. Whereas paralleling is difficult in MOSFET because of this negative temperature coefficient. MOSFET has low switching losses. So it is preferred in high frequency application. Whereas BJT has high switching loss. Whereas uh, the main drawback of MOSFET is that it has high on state resistance or high conduction loss. So it can be used only for low power application. Whereas BJT can be used for high power application. So the points to remember here are MOSFET operates either in cutoff mode or a ohmic mode to operate it as a switch. Being a majority carrier device, switching is faster. MOSFET has parasitic capacitance which affects the switching behavior. The switching time depends upon the rate of charging and discharging of the parasitic capacitance. The forward safe operating area and reverse bias safe operating area are identical in case of MOSFET. So these are some of the differences. And if you like the video, do subscribe to our electric channel. Thank you.